Here we are in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, and uh, uh, Billy Graham, uh, his, uh, his body is pretty much right down the street. Of course, I, I believe that he's, uh, he's, in, he's not uh, in that body, he is now uh, with God. That's what Paul says, that he's now in the presence of God. And so uh, that's what we believe. And uh, I'm here with uh, Dennis Agagenian, and we're here to clear up a couple of things. Uh, you know, it, a lot of people believe that uh, Billy Graham is a heretic, and most of the people that wish to accuse things have never met Billy Graham, talked to Billy Graham. This is about as close that you're going to get to the Graham family. Uh, the Graham family is downstairs in the hotel. But uh, we were able to pull uh, Dennis Agagenian, who actually uh, ministers with Franklin all over the world. Here, here, here we go. Here we go. I, I need five volunteers. <laughs> okay. All right. Just, just five people. You, you want to go? Any, anyone? You don't have to say anything. You just come up and stand. Sure. As long as you don't mind being on TV all over the internet. Okay. All right. Good. Good. Now people rush. The ultimate evil and the ultimate good. Okay. Now here, here. Let's think. Who, who do you think of when you think of? ultimate good like the best person in the world I'll, I'll let you be that person who do you think who do you think of when you think of who is the just the best most wholesome person on this planet Billy Graham Mother Teresa okay she'll be uh, Mother Graham she'll be a uh, she'll be well, we'll make her Billy Graham Billy Graham okay here's Billy Graham just good clean you know he knows he's not perfectly good I've never been righteous all my life I've never been sinless I'm a sinner and the Bible says that sinners are lost and doomed and are going to face the judgment in hell. Right. He's got some issues. But here's, here's Billy Graham, pretty good. Now, who do you think of when you think of the most evil person you could think of? Hitler? Okay, Hitler. Maybe Hitler? You got a little... Okay, Stalin. Okay, here, you, you be Hitler. You stand over here. I must have Hitler. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll save the rest. Of got to raise it. Okay, here's, here's Hitler and there's Billy Graham. Not the only hitman in town. I was saved at a Billy Graham campaign. And if there is anyone that would not want to hear anything bad about Billy Graham, it would be me. But I, I came across some truth that cannot be denied. Billy Graham has associated himself with some of the most wicked organizations and groups that it is unbelievable. Now would I go as now would I go as far as to say Billy Graham's not even saved? I don't know if he's really saved or not but if he is saved to me it's proof that a born-again person can really go be used to the devil plain and straight I came across a book called Billy Graham and his friends now there's a lot in that Plus, I came across a series of seven videos that documents Billy Graham's life and who he associated with and how wrong it is scripturally. You know, we make a big mistake when we put men up on pedestals. We make a big mistake here. God does not want us to do that. None of us should think of ourselves more highly than we ought to think, the Bible says. So, let me just say, get in the Bible, open your mind, look for the truth. Do not be afraid of the truth. We shall know the truth, and the truth will set us free. Thank you for watching. I'm going to try and put some links for you to follow. D.
Dear Ruben, greetings from New Mexico, my relocation state, and pod, post of duty. I watched your interview BID defending BG. It inspired me, to do a rebuttal video to counter yours, in order to reveal truth which neither you nor the guitar player authority on BG and sound doctrine of Jesus Christ failed to do, which I believe is necessary to undo the damning damage your BID is doing to the ignorant, uninformed sheeple who look up to icons as yourself, but deserve better in regards to biblical sound doctrine which I, and you, are commanded to defend and declare, Jude 3,4. And on that, I have some questions which I hope you answer as they will be included in my rebut BID against yours. If you fail to answer, I will note that as well in my upcoming video. God willing. Of course. Why did you feel it necessary to do such a video on behalf of BG? Are you offended by the BG critics because you are a fan of BG also? Or? Were you attempting to defend Jesus, his doctrine, the true gospel, his reputation, etc.? Did you research any of the many accusations slash expose leveled against BG documented by 100s on YouTube, etc.? You must have looked into them enough to ask the guitar player authority those questions, right? Imo, you did a fine job of throwing the guitar playing authority softballs to swing at and miss. That is all the questions I will ask you for my video. It is too bad for us that you didn't have an audience from which could have asked questions of your one-sided pro BG guest, and maybe pitched you to some hard balls. Here are my questions slash thoughts slash conclusions I am pondering which your VID of Q&A evoke in my mind, you reminded me of who slash what got BG into the limelight back in the 1930s, i.e. W.R. Hearst ordered his peeps to Puff Graham after which BG was launched into evangelical stardom and popularity. Was W.R. Hearst a Jesus slash truth slash gospel loving friend of Jesus? Or, was he an enemy conspiring with Satan's other minions in the driver's seat of TPTV then how to neutralize a potential threat? On this subject my first cue above could have been put this way, why are you puffing BG? Since BG's old age is the reason for the sound bites which all the critics are pointing out to the world, such as BG's stunningly, yet revealing, horrid responses to the Freemason Robert Schuller's interview, I refer you to my recent upload containing that bite here, http colon slash slash www.dailymotion.com slash video slash x6 fpbuw. Then we can also dismiss John's ramblings and misfiring memory which resulted in the apocalypse of Jesus Christ from the Patmos prison when John was that ripe but senile old age of 99, in fact that is the same age as BG. We can give BG a pass by blaming our ex-drugs. Or we can throw in another handy excuse like that used by Bill Clinton when caught lying, etc. Namely I was tired and misspoke blah 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 I am also wondering why you never brought up the claims, no, not mere claims, but fact, that BGISA, Luciferian slash Satan following slash worshipping, Freemason? Are you claiming then that a Freemason, Luciferian slash Satan following slash worshipping, can also be a Christian and go to heaven when they die? Aren't we only allowed one master to serve, and obey? Well, time is passing by and your puff piece video is fading from my 64 yo mind. So I need to rewatch it in order to prime my pump with further questions and disappointments you reveal about yourself, your beliefs and Christianity too. I already know your stance on Christ's mass. Not good, bro. You are an idolater and that with knowledge of that satanic holy days etymology, according to your email to me a few years back, was it 2013? So, I look forward to your responses to my questions which I will include in my upcoming Rebut Unpuff video. It is expected that Billy Graham's staff would front for him any questions that could expose him to bad publicity. This last comment is not speculation. There is proof that Billy Graham's staff has consistently lied over the years to prevent negative publicity about Billy Graham. 
When Richard Nixon met with his political buddies to decide who to have run with him, the person he asked first in the smoke-filled room was Billy Graham. I have read the account of this is more than one place, but I will quote Marshall Frady's description of when Billy Graham was asked who he thought should run with Nixon as Nixon's vice presidential running mate. Billy Graham chose 33 degrees Masonic brother, then only 32 degrees, Mark Hatfield. Here is Frady's description, his assimilation into the Nixon presidency had already been well underway, in fact, at that convention in Miami when, after Nixon's nomination, Graham wound up sitting in Nixon's penthouse suite among the smoggy late-night deliberations over Nixon's vice presidential selection, Graham himself, whatever initial uncertainty he might have felt to find himself in such a political locker room session, soon pitched into the proceedings with his own effusive recommendation of Mark Hatfield, he's a great Christian leader. He's almost a clergyman. He's been an educator, and he's taken a more liberal stand on most issues than you, and I think the ticket needs that kind of balance. In 1992, Mark Hatfield, along with Prince Hall Freemason Jesse Jackson both were on television in July of last year defending Billy Graham's actions. Mark Hatfield, according to a deprogrammed slave has been a user of monarch sexual slaves. Nye's Union Seminary is controlled and funded by the Rockefellers. President of Union Seminary was Dr. Henry Van Dusen. Billy Graham made him a prominent person in his crusade and said he was a classic example of a mass evangelism conversion. If that is a good example of Graham's conversions, we Christians should shudder. It is no coincidence that the Southern Baptists of which Billy Graham is a member, is controlled by the Freemasons. Brooke Hayes, Prez, of the So. Baptist. Convention was a high-ranking Freemason as well as part of the CFR. None of the So. Baptist. Convention's presidents have opposed Freemasonry. Prez. Bill Clinton, a slave handler, is a member of the Emmanuel Baptist Church which is a Southern Baptist Church in Little Rock, Ark. The late Bill Moyers who promoted the mystery religions was a Southern Baptist. Moyers went to the SW Baptist Theological Seminary, the same school run by one of Billy Graham's staff directors. John Buchanan is another Southern Baptist. John Buchanan went to a so Baptist Seminary and then worked as a front man for People for the American Way started by Jewish Norman Lear, an anti-Christian. People might be shocked to learn of some of the New Age teachings and New Age teachers that have been allowed into the Southern Baptist churches. The Southern Baptist Youth Program is based on Masonic ideas and is very Masonic in its ritual. Summary The reader is thanked for wading through a lot of difficult material. The reader can see why Billy Graham may well be the greatest deception that has ever been successfully pulled off. But as Abraham Lincoln said, you can fool some of the people all of the time, and all of the people some of the time, but not all of the people all of the time. Ever since the early 1950s, there have been Christians exposing Billy Graham. But the control of the Christian media and the Christian seminaries is far more extensive than most people realize. The Be Wise as Serpents book diagrams out how the Christian religious denominations are being controlled, and how the Masons and Illuminati connected administrators and trustees have control of most of the seminaries. Billy Graham without a doubt works directly for the satanic hierarchy. But a rational and fair appraisal of what the man is, and what damage he has done to Christianity will probably not be given much of a chance. Nobody, no matter who they are is going to fool Christ. There will be a real evaluation done on Judgment Day and when that day comes Christ said, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you, depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. I've never been righteous all my life. I've never been sinless. I'm a sinner. And the Bible says that sinners are lost and doomed and are going to face the judgment in hell.
Yeah.